All right, up till now we've been talking pretty much about uh, eukaryotic cellular division. So now we're going to spend just a little bit of time talking about prokaryotic cellular division. If you remember, our prokaryotic cells are going to be found in the domains of bacteria and archaea. In this case, our chromosome is going to be just a single uh, chromosome. It's going to be a single ring of DNA and a few associated proteins. This is going to be folded up into an area known as the nucleoid region. Now this DNA is roughly a thousand times the length of the cell. Um, so before we begin our cellular replication, we want to make sure that both of our daughter cells are going to have the exact same genetic information. So we are going to have to replicate this DNA before we undergo cellular division. Once we've replicated our DNA, we're going to undergo a process known as binary fission. Binary fission just means we are splitting in two. We're going to take that single cell and we're going to split it into two cells. Those two replicate chromosomes are going to be distributed to the two daughter cells. We're going to produce two daughter cells identical to the original cell. This is what's known as asexual reproduction um, because there's no combining of genetic DNA. There is no... Um, initial genetic information required. We're just simply going to replicate and split in half. And that's it for that section. Prokaryotic cell division is very, very straightforward. We're going to replicate, divide in half, binary fission. All right, so we did cover a lot in this chapter, so I'm going to make sure that we have time to go over um, just sort of a summary of the cell cycle. So the very first thing we talked about was the cell cycle. We talked about interphase and how that has three stages. G1 phase where we're going to grow as the organelles double and the S phase which is the synthesis stage. This is the stage where we are going to be duplicating our, our DNA. So we're going to be synthesizing new DNA. Then we have the G2 phase where the cell continues to grow as we make the um, as we prepare to divide. We're going to make the proteins necessary for division. We're going to uh, make sure that we have every Everything we need to go into the next stage which is the mitotic stage. The mitotic stage contains two phases. One mitosis, that's where we're going to um, separate our nuclear material and then cytokinesis where we're going to sep separate our cellular contents. Um, this is all going to be regulated by internal and external signals that are going to influence the cell cycle. If the DNA is damaged beyond repair, we undergo apoptosis. Apoptosis is that regulated cell death. It is an intentional and a very important part of the cell cycle. The eukaryotic chromosome we discuss next. Um, I would like you to pull away from this section you the differences between euchromatin and heterochromatin. What's the differences in their structure? What is the differences and when when they when are they present in the cell cycle? Um, and what is their purpose? Euchromatin is active. It's for actively transcribing and synthesizing new DNA. Heterochromatin is condensed. It's inactive. In this form, it's best for um, or it's in this form to best manipulate in the nuvirate during the process of mitosis. And we went into mitosis and cytokinesis. Uh, we talked a little bit about haploid versus diploid. Um, yes, you should review haploid versus diploid, but we are going to hit this topic so hard in our next chapter that really you don't need to worry about it in terms of uh, quizzes for this week. Um, However, you do want to go over mitosis, nuclear division. You're going to want to go over those different phases, prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. And then you're going to want to go into cytokinesis, and that is our cytoplasmic division. Make sure you review the differences between animal and plant cell division, cytokinesis. Then we talked a little bit about cancer, the, can the cell cycle and cancer cells. We talked about the development of cancer due to mutations of genes that control the cell cycle and how that comes about. Um, I would like you to know some of the defining characteristics characteristics of cancer cells, how they lack differentiation, may have abnormal nuclei, do not undergo apoptosis, they can form tumors, they could undergo metastasis and angiogenesis. Finally, we talked about prokaryotic cellular division and how the prokaryotic chromosome has very few pro proteins and a single loop of DNA that's lo located in the nucleoid region. When binary fission occurs, the chromosome is going to attach itself to the membrane and then replicate. Once we replicate, the cell is going to elongate and divide those two uh, chromosomes from each other. And that is it for this uh, chapter on the cell cycle.